The Mexican company Caracal and the Chilean Barcazas both want to buy the mines. I need more information. Perhaps Mycroft could help. It seems that both South American companies were involved in the purchase of the mine. The man at Doncaster who fled our approach, he smokes Mexican cigars. Perhaps... Yes, Watson. We should certainly speak with him. The distance between the tracks is about 4 feet 8 inches. A lightly loaded vehicle came this way. There is a wooden beam lying on the rails. A small vehicle with wooden beams went down this way. Here we are at the beach that is located near the quarry and Doncaster station. It doesn't look like a very good place to rest. These traces were made by a carriage. Look. The vehicle pressed this stone into the ground. It would have been quite heavy. Nothing interesting here. The distance between the tracks is about six feet, seven inches. The vehicle would have been heavy as these tracks are quite deep. These traces are relatively fresh and were made by a large truck loaded with materials. The traces found at the disassembled shed near Evesham and at the lake were from the same vehicle.
an advertisement for lake cruises. An abandoned gypsy caravan. This place was abandoned fairly recently. Observing the coastline and the moored boats, we are able to see that the lake's water level dropped. The lake has flooded the quarry. The dam was probably breached. a label with the name Las Zarpas. My search should be focused upon the name Las Zarpas. My search should be focused upon the name My search should be focused upon the Here it is. Please, sir, we would ask you not to leave. We have some questions. Are you the police? No, we are employed by the railway company. We are collecting witness statements about the train that disappeared last night. Lo siento, I'm in a hurry. Really? It seemed that you were waiting here for someone. 
Could you tell us if you were at the station last night? No, I just arrived from South America. A formidable journey, no doubt. Which country are you from? De Chile. Chile, but you are Mexican. No, you are wrong. Why would you think I'm Mexican? Because of your cigars. See, si, cigarrillos. So what? Those cigars are the Ricardo brand, from Mexico. It is quite impossible to find them anywhere but there. Pero not your business. I don't suppose that you are on vacation. What business brought you here? I was to meet my fellow compañeros. Where did you arrive yesterday? They were on that dumb train. I will stay here and hope that the authorities find them. Or their bodies. It's now my responsibility to repatriate them. Who authorized you to do that? The company I work for. Could you tell me the name of the company? It's not your concern. And what is your name? Enough questions. Buenas tardes. Not a very friendly man, and he is lying. He said that he just arrived, but we know that he has been here for several days. I asked Mycroft to find out some information on the WEA Coal Company. Here is his reply, and it is an interesting one.
Then the case is solved, Holmes. What do you intend to do? Well, I shall require assistance for the arrests. There were accomplices. Ah, but I know that look. You have your own ideas. What are they, Holmes? On the one hand, we have Mycroft and his tedious political games. He will locate the guilty parties without any trouble. But it will be a long and drawn-out process, and possibly with some compromise that will be to Mycroft's benefit. Our other option is the local constabulary, and advice from our friend Lestrade. The problem we have there is that the authorities seem to be incapable of acting quietly. They rely on brute force. It could result in an international scandal. All the same, I think that I prefer the forces methods. It would be better to resolve the case quickly and efficiently without any talk of politics. Let us go home then. I'd like to begin writing a draft of this story. Now, I did not say that we had finished here yet. Well, all right. What did I miss? Nothing. I only want to stop our dear Mr. Robinson before he realizes we have cornered him. Let us go. Mr. Robinson, we must ask you to remain here until the police arrive. The police? But why? You are one of the suspects in our case of the vanished train, which, by the way, involves the death of all its passengers. What? Is this a joke? I can assure you that it is not. This is outrageous. You don't know who you're dealing with. I am an influential man, and you shall regret this. We know perfectly well who you are. We also know where the train is. The police shall be happy to find it. And as for your exclusive sales contracts... <laughs> 